gosh. Oh, that's all right. I just didn't hear you knock that door. Lois? Mm -hmm. For goodness sake, the door wasn't even locked. I mean, just, just anybody can walk in here. There you go, putting yourself down again, Clark. Oh, very funny. No, really, I'm serious. Oh. Well, anyway, <laughs> here. A little, uh, little something for the newlyweds' dinner tonight. Pansies. Mm -hmm. Clark, how, how different. Oh, well, would you believe they grow wild all around here? Mm-hmm. Boy, you should see what they're charging for roses at that gift shop. I'll bet, huh? Hmm. Um, you know something, Lois? What? Well, you know, in spite of the, 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 the unreality of, of all of this, well, you know, posing as newlyweds for the sake of a newspaper story, well, in spite of myself even, I'm kind of starting to feel like one in a way. A newlywed? You? Um, I don't see why that should be so strange. Oh, I'm sorry, Clark. Really, I didn't mean that. I mean, I'm sure there's thousands of girls with... Well, a few girls like that. Well, go ahead and say it. Say what? That somehow... You're, you're not satisfied being here with me. Hmm? That, that in some way I, I don't seem to uh, shape up uh, very well in your eyes. Well, darn it, I don't have anything to apologize for. I'm a good reporter. No, I'm, I'm a very good reporter. And an even better friend to you. Stand up. Stand up? Yeah, stand up, just for fun. Now, come here, look at what? yourself. Just look at yourself. Oh. What we have here is a potentially aggressive dynamite guy who can do anything he wants. <laughs> I mean, it's not my fault you keep putting yourself down. Oh, yeah? How? Well, for starters, look, you're slouched all the time. Yeah. Here, stand up straight. There, oh. that's better. Now, get yourself a jacket with a van and some shoes that don't lace up and a shirt with a little Lois. color or pattern or something and a bow tie that doesn't look like a letter opener. All right, Lois. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, now, we, we've been all through this before, haven't we? Yes. Hmm? And I, mean, I, I, I know where this is all leading to. Um, and I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. But no matter how hard I try, I just... Mm -hmm. This just never will be him. Him who? Him who? Him Superman. <laughs> oh. Now, I can't help the fact that you seem to think that you love him. That's just something I'm going to have to live with. But darn it, Lois, now that's enough now. Maybe I just can't stand the competition anymore. And just maybe you've been the competition all along, huh? Lois, I've never been particularly good at riddles. Let me make this one really easy for you. Why, with thousands of children potentially falling off something lethal all around the world, would Superman be in Niagara Falls today? Why wouldn't he be in the Grand Canyon? Why don't you ask the child's family? I'm sure they would know. And why is it always when I'm with you until Superman appears? And then you seem to disappear, well, very I, conveniently, it I, seems to me. The hot dogs, for Pete's sake, you're the Uh-huh, and when Superman appeared, I looked over at that hot dog stand, and you were gone, you weren't there. I was... Nowhere. I can't help it if I had to go to the... You are Superman, aren't you? <laughs> Lois, look, we've been through these hallucinations of yours before. Can't you see what you almost did? <laughs> Throwing yourself off a building 30 stories high? Can't you see what a tragic mistake you almost made? I made a mistake. I made a mistake because I risked my life instead of yours. Lois, don't, don't be insane. And don't fall down, because you're just going to have to get up again. No, Lois, no, don't, don't be crazy now. What? Blank? 